fellow babies, welcome to a very late edition of the 42 show, but in my personal life, people tend to treat me like Dark Helmet. I'm surrounded by assholes. So here we are. <laughs> Better late than never, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, 42 minutes later than the 42 minute show should be on the 42 minutes. Oh yeah, that works out pretty good. Probably all lies though, but uh, you know. <laughs> so uh, I didn't do the math. Yeah, well, you know, why bother, right? Who has the computing power for that kind of math anymore? You know? Um, where do we start here? We oh, we're starting with the uh the needless vandalism. Yeah, in a disturbing incident that has shocked rock enthusiasts and conservationists alike. Oh, I mean the geological rock enthusiasts. Oh, the, yeah. I was going to say, Ozzy Osbourne's pissed? <laughs> yeah, not that, not that kind of rock, you know, that all the young kids are into these yeah. days. Uh, but yeah, vandals have been caught on camera destroying a protected ancient rock formation in Nevada, United States of America. The bastards yeah the incident occurred at uh, redstone dunes trail within the lake mead national recreation area if you can, if you want to know uh, it's a popular destination that attracts around six million visitors annually uh, the area spans around 2344 square miles and is home to some of the country's most treasured natural attractions. However, video footage shows two men attempting to dislodge loose slabs from an outcrop of red rock. Uh, their effects are laborious, taking multiple, multiple attempts before the rocks are finally tumble over the edge and crumble to dust. Yeah, insane twits. In the yeah. video, a child could be heard screaming as the uh, rock nearly falls on one of the men, uh, while another woman questions the motive behind the destructive act, asking, but why? Why? Exactly. Would somebody think of the rocks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the damage caused to the ancient formation, which are estimated to be around 140 million years old. Happy birthday to you. Wow, Happy yeah. Birthday. It's... Irreversible, no, no shit, and has left park officials and the public deeply concerned. Uh, the destruction of federally protected sites can result in a felony charges, a fine of up to four thousand dollars, and a minimum six months in prison for those convicted. I the the incident has sparked outrage amongst many viewers the, who saw the video, with many expressing their disbelief and calling for e legal action. Eagle action, legal action <laughs> against the perpetrators. Well, yeah. I I don't understand the thinking here. What why what drives a person to climb up on some cliffs like that and just start tossing rocks over? What what's going on? Were they hunting for grub worms? Were they hungry? I mean, you know. Yeah, it's not like it's not like you know you're tossing a pebble in from the beach or something like that. You know, you're taking a rock that's been precariously balanced somewhere yeah. for millions of years and going, "I oh, know, I'll just knock it off." Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it it's like somebody told them to go toss salad and they couldn't figure it out, so they came <laughs> out here to toss rock instead. You know, you know, you know what I think, I think they should do with them. These guys when they catch them, they will catch them. I, I, you know, what do you think I should? They should happen to them. I think they should be stoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not like the Bob Dylan song. You know. No, no, no. Stoning. Oh, with another stoning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just, it blows me away. What what drives a person to go and do that? It's, it's not like you're, you know, doing the whole dry hump in a statue or some drunken prank that people do when they stumble out of a bar. This is just ridiculous. What did they go on a did they go on a sightseeing tour that's all like nature hike and stuff and just go, you know what, man? This will be a great time to drop acid. You know, like I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, just it's just oafish behavior. Just all it is. You yeah. know, it's like why? Just why? It looks like one of the, the 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 smaller person at the back standing on the right hand picture looks like probably a daughter of one of the other two just standing there going, "I can't believe my father is this much of an idiot." Yeah, apparently she was there, sort of saying, "Watch out, Dad, don't fall," and all that kind of stuff. So she was just egging him on, you know. Yeah. She didn't care. Wow. She, she's not the wise; she's just a kid. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is probably a good reason why if you're a park ranger or something and you're running one of these type of places in the world, maybe you shouldn't have RV parking. <laughs> you know? Unless it's not I, their permanent address. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they turned up in an RV. I don't think they could afford it. It was just, it was just some like Chevy with a with a mattress oh, on the back. Yeah, of it's it. probably a seventy four Winnebago, right? You know, that burns <laughs> more oil than gasoline. You know. But Oops. yeah, that's crazy, man. What the heck is wrong with people? Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. Um, uh, this chick means something to Canadians, uh, budgets and all. Uh, I don't even remember her name. Finance Minister uh, Christia Freeland. But uh, the new budget came out for Canada, and they're going to up spending by $52 billion com compared to what they had planned over the next five years. Uh, uh, Ottawa is going to post a $40 billion deficit this fiscal year, uh, you know, uh, $8.5 billion in new spending for housing. That's a lot of cash, but then you start figuring out, you know, how much it costs to make like a housing complex or something if they're talking about low income and then, you know, uh, $6 billion disability benefits. So actually they're going to start, you know, properly helping people. That's better. National F School Food Program, a billion dollars. That, that gets everybody, what, two hot dogs a year? Uh, mm. 500 million fund for youth mental health, health. That's probably not even enough to fund youth mental health in Toronto, one city alone. Um, capital gains tax uh, paid by the rich is going up at an estimated $19 billion in new revenue. Now, this is the reason I brought it up. Because, you know, all the other spending, unless you get, you know, um, into what the numbers were before and so on, it's it, it's just numbers. But the a good chunk of this new spending is going to come at the expense of the rich who, like as a lot of us know, end up with a lot of tax breaks and stuff and end up paying a proportionately small percentage, even though it's a nice chunk of change. So I like hearing that government's actually going to start passing on the bill a bit more to those who can afford to pay more of it. That's kind of how it's supposed to work. I hope you know? they don't take it out like your like three dollars of uh, AdSense you get every month. Oh yeah, right. You know, and because they're going to tax me along with Google, so now I'm going to owe about three fifty, <laughs> you know, a, a payment, right? <laughs> but so, yeah. So how how much of their budget is going to supplying you with beer? That's what I want to know. Um, they didn't, they didn't have a solid figure on it, but they figured it was going to be into the thousands per month. <laughs> they couldn't want another spare billion there. Yeah, yeah. They're opening a new store in town just to make sure they can keep up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, to me, it's excellent news. Hit everybody fairly. In my version of the world, if I have to pay 12%, let's just say, who cares what the number really is. Everybody should have to. You shouldn't be able to go, oh, but I get all of these breaks because I'm red. I don't give a shit. Pay up. I don't like it. So, you know, yeah, I like never this. Even, never understood that. If everybody paid the same percentage in income tax, just flat rate, you do get some deductions because, you know, there's health things and this and that and stuff, of course. But if everybody paid basically the same percentage, our government wouldn't have to run in a deficit, period. Mm. So, yeah, you yeah, know, well. I hope there's more announcements like that from other countries coming up. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Where are you next? Okay. Yeah. I we literally had about 30 seconds to set the show up. So this will not be our most polished affair, but you know, there's some stuff to cover. So hey, <laughs> we did make it. Speak for yourself. I, well, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm, who's that? I'm, I'm severely polished right now. I was, <laughs> That was that was just because that's because you were home long. alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no. This this uh, smiley young lady, you wouldn't believe, uh, is accused as posing as a dentist and has left a trail of alleged victims in her wake, prompting investigations in both Nevada and Illinois. Monica Davis, who operated under the name The Veneer Experts, uh, promoted her dental services on social media platforms like TikTok. Claiming to change the lives one smile at a time. What a lovely tagline. However, authorities allege her, her services left patients in worse condition than they had before they sought treatment. Wow. Uh, 
<laughs> Davies had previously faced charges for operating without a license in Las Vegas. And despite this, new accusations claim that she continued to see patients in Illinois, resulting in what described as brutal consequences. Wow. <laughs> One of Davis's, uh, or Davis's uh, alleged victims, Monica Bailey, recounted her experience after visiting Davis with a 15-year-old daughter. Bailey claimed that she was fitted with fake braces by Davis just weeks after the latter's release from custody in Nevada. The, 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 why the? Did you, the, why did you go to her then? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're, you're out of prison now? Oh, can I book an appointment? <laughs> look at the look on this woman's face. I wouldn't let her put anything in my fucking mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying anything. Uh, Ralph Jones, another late victim, claimed that $2,000 of veneers provided by Davis began to fall out, uh, leaving him unsure what uh, had been been put inside his mouth. Um, Jones described the situation as causing his appearance to deteriorate over time. She was probably veneering him with like walnut or something, you know, wooden teeth. Crazy um, glue and guitar strings, right? Yeah. <laughs> that might work. Uh, when, when they attempted to schedule a follow up appointment with Davis, Bailey found uh, that was, remember, that's the original person that was complaining. Bailey found that one of the uh, contact numbers disconnected while another was went unanswered. But hang on. She was still trying to follow, do a follow-up appointment. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that, that fake dentist. I can't get a follow-up appointment at all. Oh, no. She ruined uh, my mouth, but I want her to fix it. I mean, <laughs> Authorities arrested two men in connection with the case, uh, with a third woman currently wanted by Toronto police. They have also seized uh, 10 tractor trailers full of goods from Scarborough Warehouse units that are uh, believed to be linked to an alleged moving day scam uh, that has affected victims across Canada. Uh, so, yeah, so moving day scams, I, I suppose that's people where they just turn up with, uh, you know, oh, we're going to move all your furniture you know, to your next place and they just piss off of it. Take it away, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, what a strange David group of crimes to put together. Fake dentist, furniture theft. It's, yeah. Well, they, well, they, well, they probably ripped off a dentist's uh, place first. Go, all those dentist equipment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That shit's not cheap. You can't just like set up as a scam dentist. It's not like a barber shop. Is yeah. It? Like the, the, the old days. But yeah, Davis is scheduled to appear in court in Las Vegas in May. Uh, well, as soon as you can get an appointment. And it remains uncertain whether she will also face charges in Illinois, uh, though reports suggest this could occur, occur soon. Mm. Sm chin up, smile on, keep going. Wow. <laughs> Silly bitch. Let this be a lesson to everybody out there, because have you ever been to a dentist office or like, you know, a doctor's office or whatever? They have those things hanging on the wall called certificates that show you earn the right to do the job at least look oh. for one because there's no way this sorry ass loser had even had the forethought to print one out even phony probably had a necklace of human teeth you know, <laughs> <that'll do. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. must know something yeah holy of all things you could do fake dentist i know i tried to be a fake gynecologist once but i didn't <laughs> <laughs> is that when you had to move yeah. <laughs> so uh um oh yeah the federal aid bills coming through so uh uh both ukraine and israel have aid bills to hit the house floor coming up this week um i'm just gonna go over this quick but uh um so the house of representatives is going to consider the aid to israel and ukraine as separate legislations this week uh speaker johnson that guy who's constantly in turmoil with people said on monday more than two months after the senate passed a bill combining the two so now they're ripping them apart i i swear to god it's like a child at the store that can't decide between a mars bar and a snickers you know so, leaving a meeting of House Republicans on Monday evening, Johnson said the narrowly divided chamber would consider four bills altogether that would also include aid to Taiwan, U.S. allies in the Indo-Pacific, and U.S. national security priorities. Uh, we know the world's watching to see how we react, says Johnson. They're watching to see if America will stand up for its allies and in our own interests around the globe, and we will. 
U.S. aid has been delayed by Johnson's unwillingness to consider a $95 billion bipartisan bill the Senate passed in February, including $14 billion for Israel and $16 billion for Ukraine. So it's like, no, no, you didn't do it our way. So now we're going to do it our way and see if you... Uh, it's just you guys are children you're like you're like toddlers acting like monkeys and you're just flinging it around also included are billions to strengthen allies in the indo-pacific there we were just saying that uh where china's becoming more assertive and well i mean they're basically just saying your land is ours and we will take it eventually so you know but the uh, so I'm glad these things are getting put forth. I didn't bring it up to totally slam on everybody, and um, you know, slamming him. I'm not going all Republican hater and everything. But the bipartisan bill could have achieved this and been done. But you don't want to be seen to agree with your enemy, and that's bad. You've got to be able to agree with your enemy when it's politics, when it's actually what the people want. You guys have got to grow up and stop doing this. Stop yeah. it. Mm. I don't know? like. I, I'm, I'm going to keep quiet on this because I don't like that split. Fourteen for Israel and sixteen for Ukraine. That sixty. Just, oh, sixty. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, six that's, zero that's, billion for Ukraine. Yeah, that's that's more like it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. God's sake! I thought that was. I thought we were just going to pick back at a peanut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's it's good. The, the wheels are turning. We're finally getting there. But in the time it's taken to gone from a bipartisan bill to a separate thing, because that's what the other side wanted. And we go through all the bickering. How many people have died? How much loss has there been and whatnot that could have easily been avoided if you people could act like the adults that we elect you to be? Stop it. Anyway, I'll keep, you know, okay. Um, pretty picture. Calm down. <laughs> Rant done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So in a, in a bizarre incident in North Texas, uh, stolen geese from Bethany Lakes Park in, uh, in Allen have been uh, located. What are, they put, what are they putting parks inside Allen for? What's Allen ever done for anybody? <laughs> anyway. Must have a big <laughs> bottle. <laughs> The geese have been located and are set to return home. Uh, the City of Allen Parks and Recreation Department took to Facebook on Monday to announce a discovery, assuring residents that the birds are safe and will soon be returned to their habitat. The geese were reported stolen last weekend after concerned residents alerted the police about an individual seen taking the birds. <laughs> a witness even posted a photograph of the sub suspect uh, detailing the incident and prom prompting a swift response from law enforcement. Lucky, uh, It's lucky they didn't show up to, you know, be given a pot of stew. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, would you like some soup, sir? Uh, amidst, amidst the investigation, Allen's Parks and Recreation Department used humor to address the situation, stating that the police were on the case of the foul play and working diligently to quack the mystery of the missing geese. Right. Now, okay. Allen's Parks and Recreation Department, stop it. We'll do the fucking jokes around here. Yeah. That's our department. Whoever wrote that copy, fire them because it was actually their 12 year old who wrote it for them and sent it in like come on as, as, as Allen's parks and recreation department got a, a a writer on staff a comedy writer no you haven't so don't do that we'll do the jokes yeah. you just report us you will we'll do it okay yeah that anyway. was definitely not up to the par of eric idol now stop it <laughs> uh i was just suddenly trying to think of a Goose pun, but I can't think of one. But by by Monday, the geese were found unharmed. Authorities located the individual responsible, who cooperated with the police. Uh, fortunately for them, no criminal charges will be filed, as the geese are of a domestic breed and don't fall under federal protections reserved for migratory birds. So they're just like domestic birds in the park. Okay. So um, he didn't yeah. steal them; he just caught them. <laughs> yeah, I just it's getting pretty confusing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the rescued geese spent the night at the city's animal care shelter on champagne, hookers, and blow, and are set to be released back to the park on Tuesday once they've got over their hangovers. 
Yeah, they'll be they'll be properly goosed. Because <laughs> this whole time I've been thinking, like, what you steal them and then what you just put them in your backyard and ask them not to just fly away. Like, yeah, I, I know. I never, never, never really understood that. They just, about me. Wouldn't they just fly back? Just, think, are, they, are geese really stupid or something? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't maybe, get it. Maybe they, maybe they liked it there better. <laughs> you know, but yeah, maybe they were just about to be fattened up and eaten, right? Who knows? Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Either way, what are you going to do? Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. So um, a little bit more about the eclipse. I know that's not an eclipse, but bear with me here. <laughs> a quick... <laughs> A Quebec Zoo, uh, Quebec, Canada, a Quebec Zoo took advantage of the solar eclipse to study the behaviors of some of its animals as the eclipse happened. A Japanese uh, uh, monkey there is looking on. Uh, that's an actual picture, not just an AI or, a, you know, Getty images. Um, He's not using the glasses. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the zoo's research and con uh, conservation department was approached by an astrophysics professor from the University of Quebec, uh, Montreal, uh, a whole bunch of little accents and stuff, whatever, uh, about taking part in an animal behavior study and collecting data on how they reacted during the rare phenomenon. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, what we can take from it is that definitely luminosity doesn't have an effect on animals and whatever data we find. Well, yeah, that's why we have nocturnal hunter. What? Uh, <laughs> the, the conclusion is that we all got together and wasted a day. No, it's, uh, we all, the, the conclusion we can take from the species at the zoo can probably be extrapolated to wildlife species as well. Okay. Uh, uh, brilliant, uh, brilliant research. Brilliant. Yeah. We expected them to be agitated and to group together and want to go to the nighttime habitat. But during the totality of the eclipse, it was almost like they stopped vocalizing. They stopped all their movements and just turned their backs to the sun and were all zen and calm. It's almost like they know not to be staring at it. Uh, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they th and it because you know when it gets pretty dark, right? Uh, but the bears just continued to sleep through the afternoon and didn't even notice it happened. Uh, mm. But yeah, uh, most of the animals that were up were just standing up, walking around, and they didn't really do much. So yeah, I guess it was just one of those days where everybody could have gone to the pub instead. <laughs> they, didn't, just, they didn't go all pagan and start having you know dancing to the uh, the rain gods yeah. and. Nothing like that. Nothing. There was no druidic activity at all. Um, you know, mm. yeah. No cavers were tossed. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Leave the cavers alone. Lovely creatures. <laughs> there was, yeah, there was, uh, there wasn't any excessive alcoholism, so they don't act like they're from Alabama. Um, mm. yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, but you know, um, <laughs> Yeah. So let's see here. Um, We've or, obviously or, had too, enough too many eclipses, I think, by now. Don't yeah. if, if scientists are going, well, let's go and have a look at what monkeys do when there was an eclipse. Well, no, no, study the eclipse and surely learn something from that. <laughs> you know, no, no. We've we've done all the science on eclipses from now on. We're just going to see what monkeys think about it. Yeah, yeah. Next time <laughs> they do it, it'll be like, well, they fell into a group orgy, and we can't show you the pictures. <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> well, the scientists. <laughs> Probably. There's nothing left to study. <laughs> uh, so now, yeah, what, you, what, happens, what happens if we make monkeys watch scientists have sex? <laughs> what happens if you get monkeys to design Olympic outfits? <laughs> it's just. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I was going to shout camel toes, but I won't. <laughs> the team, team USA's female athletes have voiced stronger criticism. Over Nike's revealing of a new Leotard design for its Olympics, uh, Summers, and Paralympic Games. Unveiled last week in Paris. The only where, fans yeah. edition. I mean, holy <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know why they did it in Paris. They didn't dare do it in the USA. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the track and field kit, uh, particularly the high-cut Leotard, has sparked controversy for its uh, skimpy design. 
promoting athletes to question its functionality over appearance. What I uh, mean, what what happens if you got somebody who's just not really into shaving the growler? I mean, they're going to be forced to, you know. Uh, we're going to come to that. Uh, images of the uniform drew widespread criticism from athletes who argue that the outfit prioritized aesthetics over performance. Didn't I already say that? Uh, U.S. steeplechaser Colleen Quigley expressed her concerns, stating that the, the leotards were absolutely not made for performance. Hurdler Queen Harrison humorously suggested that the European Wax Centre should sponsor the team <laughs> due to the outfit's high kit design. And, uh, well, this Tara Davis Wood Woodhall said, wait, my hoo-ha is going to be out. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. So this this is the first time you're going to win by a hair. A woman has to apply tape first to keep everything you know sealed and in order, and then you could you could compete in that day. It's just that's you a, just you just roller coasted over my best joke for the whole thing. Oh, well, I didn't know, but you're laying <laughs> in then, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, that's 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 what it brings a new expression to the uh, term win, winning by a hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, wow. I'm hey, just, thank you all. <laughs> here, there's... Uh, oh, dear. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, crazy. Crazy. I'm just... I'm in shock. I don't see why that's necessary at all. Who designed this? Some complete creep 70-year-old dude? Uh, Chat GPT. <laughs> oh. so yeah uh we'll bring ourselves over for just a little bit of trump watch but um you know that's how it goes um so trump is only in day two of jury selection for his criminal trial that's literally starting right now and he's been completely told off by the judge. So um, uh, uh, Trump uh, started talking to one of the potential jurors and was like motioning in his arms and whatnot. And the judge just got right in. I will not have any jurors intimidated in this courtroom and totally lost it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, at this point, he just can't turn around without doing something wrong but he's literally oh yeah the uh the judge was like your client was audible um he was gesturing and he was speaking in the direction of the juror i will not have any jurors intimidated in this courtroom take a minute to speak to your client why does he get to pick the jury all you need is like 12 people turn in maga hats yeah. and they'll go yeah they'll do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the first group that showed up they were like you know asked if they could be impartial if not raise your hand and a huge swath of them did and this is going to be the issue right i think they've only picked three people so far or something you know? yeah three people have never met him they're all they're all not they're not even from this planet they're not in the United States. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah a couple of the stand-ins from men in black <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> they've come to take him home yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of quick shout outs here. Um, Yvonne Way sends in a super sticker. Um, it's the little foxy guy. I think he might be playing a trombone. I'm not sure what he's doing there. But uh, oh. super thanks, Yvonne, queen of the super sticker around here. And then the left-handed Jedi came in and gave out five shills memberships. So you remember the rules around here, fellow babies. Whoever the newest member is at the end of the show, you get the bar tab. Send in your name and address when you, we announce you, and we'll get it right to you. Thanks for playing. Cheers. Yeah, but thanks, left-handed Jedi. Big shout there. Thank you very much. Um, where are you next here? Oh, oh. somewhere where you might not want to be. Hmm. <laughs> I can confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for the salmon moose? Uh, but no, a new beauty trend originating from South Korea has gained popularity on TikTok and has even attracted the attention of celebrities like Jennifer Aniston or famous ones. A uh, trend <laughs> involves injecting faces with salmon sperm 
in a procedure known as plenage. Uh, advocates of the treatment claim that injecting the DNA from fish sperm into the skin sperm. stimulates collagen. Who's sitting around stroking these fish so that they can donate their gush? What is going on? <laughs> it's probably the same scientists that study the monkeys. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, apparently, uh, DNA from the fish sperm into uh, skin stimulates uh, collagen production, promoting skin elasticity and reducing inflammation. Uh, not for the salmon, I don't think. Uh, but however, Dr. Hamdan Abdullah. Ahmed, a certified dermatologist, urges caution. Uh, while the treatment may offer immediate benefits, uh, such as calming inflammation and promoting skin elasticity, the long-term effects are still yet under-researched. Uh, what yeah. the hell? What is wrong with people? Oh, really? I just read on TikTok that if I ingest or inject fish sperm into my body... I'll look younger and better. Where do I get some? What? Mm. What is wrong with people? And yet, and yet, having sex with salmon is apparently a bad thing. I don't <laughs> understand. I don't understand these rules. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the procedure involves creating polydeoxy by bio nucleotides. Hey, look at me. I almost did that one. Uh, PDRN uh, from the salmon sperm, uh, a DNA-based drug believed to be beneficial for skin health. Um, previous studies have suggested that PDRN uh, may be more effective than traditional creams in enhancing skin elasticity and wound repair. Yeah, just get a Sam to spunk. Wound repair? So what, if somebody like chops your leg off in your sleep, you could wake <laughs> up and just spread some fish... Yeah. on it yeah you grow new fins oh. <laughs> this, is, this is how you make uh, uh you make mermaids isn't it <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. horror movie maybe <laughs> yeah it makes it makes it makes your skin you know so like really so like elastic and scaly oh mm. <laughs> lovely right everybody wants that over tanned old lady with alligator skin look right you know <laughs> It's a Miami specialty. Um, uh, here's something that's kind of funny. Um, this is, uh, where the hell is it again? Um, um, this is in Georgia. Uh, they're coming to do some controversial new bill. And um, this is what happened when they were talking about it and trying to be adults. <laughs> this is politics, people. He just caved someone, man. I say, I disagree. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. When I tell, when I tell you I'm sick of uh, uh, political people and rivalries acting like children, well, you know, sometimes it's teenagers too, I guess now. But mm -hmm. there you go. I mean, that's ridiculous. How can that even be real? How is that supposed to give us any sense of stability and maturity and good thought processes going into the idiots who do politics for us. This is a joke. Oh, I, I you know? don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe politics might be actually be better like that. You know, uh, in the red corner, <laughs> we have <laughs> Gellar Smith. <Yeah. laughs> He's going to be fighting middleweight champion. <laughs> and when younger, the average age of leaders in the in less, especially in Western countries. Oh right yeah, now. God, imagine! Can you imagine Trump and Biden trying to have a, well, even a arm wrestle? Some God's Mike sake. Tyson guy would just come in and kill him with one punch, <laughs> right? Wouldn't even be a knockout; it'd just be done. Well, yeah, about about this new bill of bill of yours, you motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I don't like it. Yeah, uh, I veto this with my fist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. oh man so um uh let's see here oh uh quickly too before we're done i just wanted to get this one in and then uh, dunk still has another article but you remember we reported about this thing that fell from the sky through somebody's house like it mm -hmm. fell from space it turns out it was a part of the international space station yes yeah, yeah. um <laughs> Yeah, what was it? Um, it, was, it's a, it, was, it was from a pallet of batteries. Yes. They, uh, ejected. Yeah. Aging nickel hydride, hydride batteries from the International Space Station. So mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> it, all, it fell off uh, that Tesla that Elon Musk set up. To space. <laughs> you know what? I wonder. You know, here I'll give you guys like twenty million if you cover for me. <laughs> but yeah, we 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 did an article on it, so I did want to get it in to make sure that uh, we did wrap that idea up anyway. Yeah, we yeah. use them all along. Yeah. So uh, how long can you hold it? Yeah, this is a pretty sad story because a mother in Washington Heights is calling for change after being fined for allowing her young son to relieve himself in a public park uh, due to the lack of available restroom facilities. Uh, Mikaki uh, Sasaski and her uh, son Kobe visited Battery Park. Oh, maybe where that battery came from. Uh, no, <laughs> never mind. However, an under unforeseen emergency led to Kobe to urgently need the bathroom. Uh, mm. They found no accessible facilities, so uh, with no other options, Kobe, Kobe relieved himself near some weeds. Within moments, they were approached by several officers who were issue, issued them with a $50 fine for public urination. Uh, in response to the incident, Battery Park officials have installed two signs directing visitors to nearby restrooms. <laughs> Well, well done. Uh, yeah, so while the Parks Department maintains its stance on the fine, emphasising the importance of using designated facilities, Sasaski is determined to challenge the penalty. She believes that Fanti should not have to struggle with basic needs and hopes that her experience will prompt Parks to improve signage and accessibility to restroom facilities. It's just a kid taking a piss in the plants. Of no doubt. We've all done it. How many times have you seen, like, driven along the roadside and seen some little kid with <laughs> trousers around the rankles taking a piss? Yeah. Mommy, I need the toilet. You know, and it's it's, are those actual bathrooms that are just closed because they're sick of having to deal with, like, junkies and stuff or something you, like that? You know, is that what's going on here? Wouldn't be at all surprised. Yeah, but even still, if that's the case, it's not fair to every... You build a park and then you make it a place nobody can go to with kids because kids are going to need to go to the bathroom. Uh, kid, okay, we're going now. Do you need to go to the bathroom? No. 15 minutes later, daddy, I need to go to the bathroom. That's just yeah. how it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know? well, what, what they should do, we have we have this situation in the UK where we solve this problem by having all these uh, British telecom telephone boxes installed everywhere. Oh. So everybody's got somewhere to piss. I thought you could uh, just piss in a cop's hat. <laughs> and how it works? Oh, only That's if you're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that never happened to me. Uh, yeah, but you do have these like uh, urinals that appear at night in uh, London Centre, which is just like these these these, these stand up piss pots that yeah. people can take a urine yeah uh, urinate into. So uh, maybe they should just have a little, you know, just a little little bit somewhere, you know, where the kids are just like a little pee every now and then. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We've got a uh, new member, Blonde Bombsheller. Welcome to the team. We got a new member, Shill Apprentice. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. The bar bill goes to you then. Yeah. All right. I'll send it over. Um, It's actually small today. I only had one beer. You know what? We'll just save it and add it on with uh, Thursday. <laughs> right? Well, you know, okay. But yeah, we're done. Credits in the uh, credits. And um, <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> yeah. that was going to come out that stupid. See you soon, <laughs> fellow babies. <laughs> right things in the right places. See you later. Oh, I got the wrong credits up. <laughs> I didn't finish uh, updating all oh, of our oh, shit when we that. started. What are you going to do? Great. Here, you know what? Hold on. We'll redo this. So ready? Uh, here, we'll go. Uh... Uh oh, it didn't oh. play. There! <laughs> How you doing now? Okay, let me dial that down. So uh yeah, it's a clumsy day. What are you gonna do? Big thanks to the team in the background who do everything for us and whatnot. We got CF Beauty who runs the teams, we got BME, PJ CNET, Crazy Cat, Shayna Caldwell, and the crowd. So uh, thanks, everybody, because it would suck without you. I can barely do it with you now, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks, everybody, who sends in the super chats, becomes members and all those wonderful things to help keep the channel, you know, you know, funded maybe very, very, very slightly. Oh, uh, what? Oh, there's also a shout out to Lee Marley for a direct tip donation in as well. So huge thanks there, Lee Marley. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. 
Uh, don't forget to like the video. Uh, I'm going to like it right now before we quickly finish. And uh, you do the same. Don't forget to share. Share it out on all the platforms you can possibly imagine. Go and share it. Go and paint it on the side of a rock in a desert somewhere. So put the shells. Watch the shells. And then watch some git push a rock off the cliff. But then you can get him. Right. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll see you back on uh, Thursday. Uh, no, coming up soon. So we'll see you then for the next show. Be there or be square, fellow bears. Stay chilly.